Feel you, man. I feel ya. All right. So we are out to disrupt the honey trade, I guess. So we're gonna burn some uh, beehives. But first, let's kind of jump on the gun there. First, we need to get our outfit. So we have our thieves skilled outfit, which will be interesting. Even if you're one of them, better not make trouble. Man, you're beer, 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 beer. All eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint Before us. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. I will call you Two Pint. You vex me, Vex. You vex me. You cause me great vexation. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Not like that, it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit is a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Hey, I still have plenty of work to do here. All eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint us. Need a few spare septums? I got the cure right here. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. And out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Aye. Arangoth sent... In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. Yeah, I think we've been over you this. Watch yourself on that island. We Those need to get... Don't take prisoners. Our uniforms. Grungy. Did we get our uniform so? Come here. Better be important. I'm, 
I'd like to know why you're wasting time asking about it when you should already be on your way. Ah, uh, me too. I thought we were supposed to get some... A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Me included. Just wanted to let you know. Where do I get, get my, get my gear at though? Snack. Where'd you come from? No. Oh, what are you doing? Never should come here. Oh. They were sleeping though. Okay, this is getting awkward. something to you. I'm sure we'll speak again. Hey, hey! I want to talk to you. Now. I joined up with them maybe ten years ago. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans. But it was always about the killing for them. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. The first few years for that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. No, we usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. That was a messed up story. Always Thank you pleasure. for that. Um, should I talk to you Don't about you getting things to do than to? I'd like to know why you're wasting. I'd like to know why yeah, you're wasting yeah. time asking about it when you should already be on your way. I think you're all right. Pull up a chair, my... When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild or being a thief. I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living either. With my lock-picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking. I made a great deal of gold doing it, too. It's where a client pays you to get arrested. You get thrown into a prison for the express purpose of breaking out. Usually it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to... Well, to kill someone on their behalf. Either way, the trick was in the escape. That's where my strengths came in here. Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. No guild to back you up. I do jobs for the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I was on my own. And the last jailbreak I attempted failed. I was imprisoned in High Rock for three years before they let me go. After that, I promised myself I'd never do it again. I don't know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would bring me more wealth as a thief rather than an assassin. Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I guess I wanted to play it safe. 
I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. I'm sure we'll speak again. Yeah, all this talk of gold and look at it, look at their surroundings. Yeah. Not really living it up. <laughs> Got a minute? Wanted to say something. My father told me he found me as a young boy the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange rune. No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Perhaps they could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. I appreciate that. Keep to the shadows. <coughs> Huzzah! It's this way. Well, I feel like I'm supposed to talk to somebody to get my suit. Right. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? You sound like you're in a Guy Ritchie film. The saying. Lying to my face isn't going to win you any favors with me. I can promise you that. On the other hand, taking some of these extra jobs off my hands, now, that'll get you to the top of my list. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dark for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Karma, maybe? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask. And we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. If you're looking to get some coin for the fruits of your labor, you should talk to Tanelia. She sounds tough, but she'll catch you a fair deal. I also suggest you spend some time in the training room. Just talk to Mipper, he'll show you around. Maybe the, the guy we're looking for is in the training room. Is by taking so you're the new work. recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. 
Sweet. We get our armor. Mm-hmm. And she's the All fence. We talk to her when we want to get things sorted. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Um, I don't know what would be faster. I think there's another exit out this I don't way. Care. Buddies with the guildmaster. I'll still smash their skull if you try anything. Yeah, yeah. A violent man. Let's see. Needs. It sounds like there were quite a few thieves about. Ah, oh, so cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty baller. Just have like an exit in the uh, town grave graveyard. I forget, Debella might, there might be a god of, uh, the less fortunate, or the beggar, or something. I can't remember if Debella is involved in, in that. Alright, so let's, let's skedaddle. We eventually gotta head over here and clear the estate. Gotta burn three hives. The entry point through the sewer would be a good way to go, and we have to clear out Aaron Goth safe. So quite a, quite a few tasks. But then we're gonna skedaddle over to our uh, our estate and just change things up a little bit to fit our new uh, new career path. Home sweet home. Ah, Winstead Manor. You can hear the soft cries of the orcas by the sea. Yeah, looks like our mushrooms have been growing a bit. Got some. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah, gotta be careful to. Got some bees. Probably look for that honeycomb. Yeah, super cool. All right, what am I looking for? Aha! Yeah, that's uh, really neat. That's like a bit of our history here. So <sighs> times being the archmage, good times, good times. Very cool. All right. <laughs> it's such a savage, you guys. Our dude's such a savage. He's got all the guys jacked and the uh, the eyes and everything and the scowl. He's just he's hardcore, I guess. Okay. Uh, 
And now we enter our new vocation. And we also go bald. Huh, it's weird the hood's not showing up. <laughs> well, we definitely look more shady with the with the weird uh with the weird hairdo going on now. What else should we drop off while we're here? Put some, but I'll try to keep our weapons in the weapon room. We had a chest around here somewhere. We're getting quite the jewelry collection, which we're gonna need if, if, our, <laughs> if we have a wife that wants the uh, the bald slash mullet, the bald mullet going on. It's like it's cool if you're bald. It's cool if you've got a um, a mullet or long hair, but the bald mullet, I don't know. I don't know if it if it all comes together. If we shave it all off, we could be a stud like Pat Patrick Stewart. Or if we keep it all together, you know, keep the mullet, we could uh, have some of that uh, Van Halen charm. But together, I don't know. So we gotta keep <laughs> we gotta keep jewelry with us, just in case. Yeah, where's a? Uh, we should have like some kind of. Put our jewelry here for now. We have three amethysts. I think that's what they needed for that one mission, I want to say. Was it garnets? I can't remember. Now we know what the uh, the strange uh, stone is. So if we get all 24, 25 stones, we are probably gonna be pretty rich, but it's gonna be difficult because it's they're all over uh, Skyrim. And eventually we'll get our library more organized. Thieves Guild Hood prices are 10% better. Why do we need a Thieves Guild Hood when we have 
Mashka Clavicus file, which is 10% better, 10% speech crap. Yeah. There we go. It's more fitting. Guy okay, looks a little more baller. Yeah, we could have had the Maroon's Dagger. Dealing with the Daedra. Dealing with the Daedra, man. It's always a gamble. Alright. Let's, speaking of prices, let's, before we head to our destination, let's make sure that we're well equipped. Need something? Welcome to war. We've got small weapons as the finest weapons in armor. Yeah, I thought we'd stay with the uh, Elven Dagger. doing business with you. Indeed. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. I am the root squad. I don't know what's wrong with Skyrim these days. Everything. Everything is wrong. Everything you know is wrong. Everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Everything's for sale, my friend. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Yeah. Oh, we can pawn a few things. Do come back. Yeah, yeah. And hit up our hit up the college real quick and see if they're we got anything there that can help us on our mission. Probably after the whole end of the world thing, they installed some gates. Eventually, we gotta get this stuff over to our new place. Open dagger of fear. Heck yeah. Let's get a loot on this, just in case. 
to lull someone in, to sleep and then take their stuff. please. Yes, please. All right. Who is the dude from Van Halen? Is it David? There's David Roth. David Lee Roth. There, he was. Who's the? Who was the other guy? Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen was the original singer, but they both had long hair, right? I think they both had long hair. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and. Head back here, sell a couple things and be on our way. <clears throat> what do you need? I need a hug. I'm so sad, so lonely. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Welcome You're to War Maidens. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? All I ask is a fair chance. Yeah, these, uh. The Invalid South Eve's good stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, let's get rid of the Elven Dagger and. Orcish Bow. And he has some frickin' their dwarven arrows seem like they're pretty pretty crazy. Yeah, if you're an archer, like you better be freaking rich, because like arrows cost a fortune. Good doing business with or be you. very good at like collecting your arrows. Alright. Back on the road again. We're on the road again. The road to nowhere. Da 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 da. Dreams, nightmares, and evil omens. Well, let's hope we don't run into uh, Farmina. So yeah, there's still some Daedra out there, some Daedric princes. I'm sure we'll have to contend with. All right. 
Alright, well this wouldn't be a bad time to head over there, because it's... Beautiful elk. That we could potentially use. It's... Oh wow, he is booking it. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad time to head over. hard to beat. Just so you guys know, we're gonna suck balls because it's, uh, you know, we do not have any of these skills. Like, we are major suckage going on. So we do not, we're not thieves. We don't have that background. So we don't have um, any experience in this vocation. We're gonna, we're gonna use magic for in a bind and we'll be able to kill it with magic, although we don't have our magic enhancing gear, but we're going to try to use as much stealth as we can and try to go the cloak and dagger route. Nothing. <laughs> hey, a nerd root. So pretty. Is our mine. Alright. Alrighty then. Ooh, another nerd. Where did you guys come from? Oh, the Dawn Guard? Mercenaries and on it. Oh, wait, she's a thrall. Okay. Yeah, what an inconvenient time to be hunted at the moment. Oh, well, if they don't know we're here now.
Here's the sewer. I've never seen leaves this color. You get up there somehow. What in the world is going on over there? Sounding. Who's there? Oh, that's her draw. I knew I heard something. Oh, there's still more down guard? Yeah! magic but in this case you gonna have to make an exception Sir Oriole's bow is where it's at. Jeez Louise. We have to get up there to get to the beehives. Yikes. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best way. Irony is that this causes us, this bow might cause us pain because it's sun related or vampires.
Don't mind me. start increasing our stanima and we're gonna head in the realm of uh, thiefdom meager lock picking Picking. All right. You see nothing? Who's there? All right, so we got the three beehives burning, and while they're investigating that, we will into the house. It'd be better now to keep on with our dagger. Just more closed space. Just sneak up on the skeever. Effective. Ah. I'm sorry, Serana. Get out of the fire, babe. We're here. I know I'm repulsive, but I'm not that repulsive. Okay. It's not quite Maroon's Dagon's dagger, but I'll have to do with this dagger. Get that uh, burning up the sewer <laughs> the somehow helped, I guess. We're right back where we started. Okay, now we're a little bit closer to the house, I guess. Gonna be rough. Get the jump on this guy. Where'd you come from?
Okay, so I gave it the temptation and I tried some of my Master Wizard stuff. I mean, and I, I, I think that that's what we're going to do is we're going to try to go the Thief route. But, like, if it fails, we always have our, our magic skills to back us up because I think it's all about the element of surprise with the Thief. Once, once they figure out that you're there, basically it's impossible to, like, I, I'd be hacking at them forever with a knife. Or a couple uh, well-placed fireballs seem to, to work out just fine. Them maybe. They're so, so stealthy. All right. Let's gold. What was that? Nothing. Oh, my gosh. We're gonna suck at being a thief for a while. It's just this how it is. Ooh, nice. Only three gold? What a what a bunch of rubes. So we have what we need. Yeah. Let's skedaddle. Skedaddle. Skadoosh. Skid row. Let's 
get out of here. Not bad. We did. I felt like we were able to take some people out with our bow, and we were able to. Uh, we didn't do very good with the dagger, though. I, I kind of failed, failed you guys with my drit and my dagger skills. But um, I think we took out some people with the bow and arrow. We avoided. We did the stealthy thing, so we uh, didn't just go in and killed everybody. You know, we did actually kill a lot of mercenaries by fireballing them to death. But um, we didn't. Uh, we were, for our first mission, that wasn't too bad. We, we, we balanced stealth and magic, and eventually we'll get to the point where we'll be more stealthy, hopefully. But we, we did use our stealth to get in. We used the sewer. We burned the beehives, no trouble. We just had to kill some of the tougher thugs with our, uh, with our fireballs. Wait. No, you. Do you? I don't think I find that debatable. I am the Archmage. This is how you know me. I just wonder if there's a... Yeah. That's so cool. Come here a second. All right, Renolfo, buddy old pal. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. Let me take a look at what you found. He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Yikes. No, nothing like that. You're calling on her for business. That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplash. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Until next we meet lot. Not bad. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and save here. And we have a date with Maven Blackbriar. She has got quite the amount of sass. Wants to see you so, right away. I, I don't know what she has for us, but I'm guessing it's not going to be on the up and up. But I mean, we're in the Thieves Guild, so... Alright, gang, we are going to head out for today, or for right now, for this episode. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Please don't forget to like my videos if you like my videos. Um, I've been very encouraged to see a subscription set that up. Uh, you guys are making my dream come true of, uh, um, you know, just being able to share my adventures. And just, uh, uh, you know, I, I hope you guys are enjoying them. Please leave a comment. I always respond to comments. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again soon.